humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Manland and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are going to poke some planets first. Because that's important, right? Let's see. We got some moderate here. That's okay. Oh, it's kind of kind of kind of crappy. Crappy. Oh, because I remember launched. Because I poked around here a while ago on my own, and then there was one of the planets are, is a, is a rich planet. I don't. Well, it's definitely not this one, huh? But one of them Launching is uh, very nice, rich planet. So, we got something to look forward to. Probe launched. Man. Poking these things wastes a lot of time. But it's necessary because we need to upgrade stuff. I think I still have like two to upgrade at the, at the moment. And then Probe for launched. every. Um, Oh, four now. For every character, new teammate you get, they have new ideas for the ship. Let's just head right into the red giant. How am I? <laughs> How am I not dead? Look at this. How am I not dead? Is it you? Are you? Are you the the rich one? Are you rich? Yes, you're rich. You're very rich. That's nice. That's great. Nice me. Oh, and we have element zero. Look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Seriously. Probe away. That is good. Oh, what, what was that? I, there was a spike? There was like a double spike somewhere? No, just, just two different spikes, but that's good. I will take Probe it. Launched. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Yeah, that's great. I don't mind an even more powerful Jack. Jack is amazing as she is, but you know, man, why why was I wasting time on like you know moderate planets when there are such things as like extremely rich? And it's like this. Launching probe. Seems like the rest of it is just a waste of time. Look at that. Going crazy. I'm going crazy right there. You're not going crazy enough. You're not. Okay, fine. Probe away. Where's the other crazy one? Right here. This looks good. Probe launched. <laughs> Look at all this. Uh, so rich. Probe launched. So although I don't want to play like this every couple of weeks and then do like in the whole batch, but. Sadly, I don't have a lot. Uh, uh, I don't have a lot of time to do so anymore. So, I will. Oh, I will take what I can get. I and uh, this element zero, I will take it. Launching probe. Regardless, even if it's not as good, it's not a crazy spike, but I will take it. Launching probe. Are you dead yet? Is this planet gone? You're still kicking? Alright. Launching probe. There's so many probes on this now. 
Oh, double, double spike. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Pro Such away. an angry double mountain. I can a fork, a fork, <laughs> a fork tech cooldowns now. That's great. That's great. Freak out more, freak out more, freak out more like that, yes. Probe launched. Now it's poor. Now it's so poor, look at that. Well, too bad. Sucks to be you, Gotha. I'm gone. I took everything. I, <laughs> I took everything and now you're gone. Alright, uh, we are going to... What am I gonna do? I don't remember. Am I going to help Jack? Or am I going to... Crap, I don't remember where I'm going. Uh, let's go... Uh, Shadow Sea. Why is it 100%? Local cluster 100%. Eagle Nebula. There. Alright, so let's head off to... Um, Ilium. We're going to do all three of the missions. All right. So I have four left and I do three. I should have one more to choose from. Now, while we are here, we can poke the rest of these guys. Because why not? is all so fun. Moderate. Moderate's not all that fun. But it's okay. I want a rich planet. Do you have, do you have element zero? Probe launched. Probe. Seven. Oh, poor. You're poor now. Okay, let's go. Let's just hit up the fuel and the po 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 probes. Oh, and then let's go to here. Here we go. Oh, I don't know what that is, but hey. All right, let's see. Ilium. Ilium is a classic garden world developed to serve as entreport between Terminus System and the Asari Republic to abet this trade in the normally stringent custom law of uh, Council's base on product safety, proscribed material, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of Novaria. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born in the world is only now reaching her middle age. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, the population is housed in our call Arcology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. <gasps> I don't care. I just want to see Liara. That's all. That's all. Oh my god. I oh, I am so excited. <sighs> you have no idea. You have no idea. I don't know how, how many hours it's been uh, since this gameplay, but I think I am on part 17. Part 17 and approximately I've been playing it like um, each part has been like an hour or something. Um, I will bring I will bring the old team just because just because we're going to see Liara so I will bring Tali and I will bring Garrus everybody else can just go away I don't care <laughs> just bringing up the old crew just for you know just for the sake of it and uh, I have three points what can I do Rips through shields and shred synthetics uh, Opel. I kind of want incendiary ammo. Burns through armors and sets them on fire. I, I kind of want this. I'll, I'll take that. Alright. Two points in that. 
No regrets. And what about you? Combat drone. Command your very own drone. That sounds very... <gasps> Squad member is not loyal. This makes me really sad. AI hacking. Turns out that the enemies against their own allies. I don't... I never liked... AI hacking. Not even in the first game. So I will... I... I will go with the Quarian mechanics. Energy drain. Drains enemy... Yeah, this looks good, but you need your thing. Combat drone. Keeps the drone. I don't even know if this is good. We will see. I... I'm not going to choose for it yet because I don't know what I want for that. And what about you? Overload. You having overload sounds great. So let's have overload for you. Okay, that sounds good. Tali, I don't think I've poked your weapons yet. Guess why not? Take a cannon, take, what is this? I don't remember if you run up to people's faces. So, I will give you this Geth plasma for now. I'm not expecting to fight anything on Ilium anyway. But, just in case... Incoming bad graphics. This is basically Hong Kong. Look at all the buildings, skyscrapers, and tall buildings. Ah, <laughs> uh, feel feels like home. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, <gasps> who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Signing? What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Wow. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. <laughs> All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Interesting. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Liara is amazing at everything! You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Me too. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. But, you know, like always... Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. 
All right, well, that is very good. Now, um, of course, I'm going to leave the good things till last, so I might not be talking to Liara today. Commander, but we will see. a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Thank you. <laughs> Have a pleasant visit, Nos Astra, Commander. <laughs> we actually get a map. Oh, yes, I get a stupid map. Okay. Um, Liara's right here. Oh, but she's right there. She's just right there. I want to talk to her. Oh, but I always also like leaving the best to last as well. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? What's up? Perhaps what? Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting-edge indentured service, Indenture Tech can provide contract guaranteed labor for any technical area. Contact Indenture Tech today. You've been a slave to your employees for too long. That's... Shouldn't it be the other way around? What? That's so messed up. Talk to Garrus. Garrus! Talk to, Garrus. Talk to How do I... Oh, okay. Hey. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. All right. All right. But I see a lot of blue. Like, a lot. A lot of blue. I like it. The city looks nice. Look at this. Wow. And all the drones, and all the little flying thingies, and all the saris. If only I can zoom in. But they all look like copy and paste. It's like it's like they made one model, or two, and then they just kept on pressing paste. That's what it looks like. Galactic news! Two years after a geth attack nearly- 25. What? Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. What? Okay. The recent attack on Horizon has other council species looking to their own security. Are you shorting prefabs? Oh my god. Stop interrupting. I'm Why trying not? to listen. Oh god. I did it after Eden Prime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. You're insane. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Wow, that was that's racist. Hey, your Commander Shepard. I saw your. I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, oh. we hide. We borrow. Oh. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. Rackman. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean thank you shepherd the rachni will sing again because of you yeah 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 hey how did you possess another asari you can't just take over people's minds like that peace shepherd the rachni queen does not control my thoughts that was merely the message i was asked to deliver I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way, all working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. 
You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful, and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. Mm -hmm. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. So, you made out with the Rachni Queen. I, I don't understand a sorry melding thing, to be honest. Like, <laughs> like, is there like a difference? Is there like a difference between different kinds of melding? Or, you know, connection? Can't be all sexual, right? Can you tell I'm me where the saying... Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Hmm. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. That's kind of interesting. So the wow, the, how the Reapers are like behind everything? What the hell? Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. All right, you be good too. Enjoy life, I guess. Where am I now? I am here. I will make my way to the Eternity Bar. Grab myself a drink. Chat up the ladies, because that's always nice. You look familiar. You look. You, I'm gonna save and then talk to you. You definitely. Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. I thought you were too. Nice to see you. I don't remember who Shepherd? you are. The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait. Probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Oh, I remember you now. Yes, hey. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. You do? What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. I thought it says I'm hitting on the Collectors. That's... <laughs> you ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. Oh, whoa. And don't forget to drink your beer. It's empty. Are you kidding me? Examine the beer. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me, couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novari. Oh, can you talk? Can you talk her into showing you so good stuff? Okay. That's interesting. That is kind of cool. Now I'm on a mission. I am on a mission. Where am I? Okay, this way is good. This way is good. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. 
Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Okay, let's browse. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Doubles the time limit for bypass. I don't really need all that, but... Um... I guess if I have money, I should use it, right? This is probably good, so I will get that later. Let me save and talk to you, I guess. Show me the good stuff! Welcome! You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. What kind of merchandise do you carry? The latest in biotic upgrades and Omni-Tool modifications. Very high quality. Sometimes I even get special items in. No promises, of course. <laughs> this stuff might be crap. <laughs> Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outbidding a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. <laughs> what about the schematics? Do you have the authority to seize the schematics she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. I don't think that's gonna help you now. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've gotta go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. I will- we will share another beer. Well, at least I got some- Yeah, everything is cheap now. Let's buy it all. Let's buy that. This should come in handy. Yeah, Medijo Kapasa Tai. I don't really need it. I don't need this. I don't need this either, actually. I don't know if I should buy it. Lack of money. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's chat. We should talk again. Have another drink. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. <laughs> it must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Hey, 
It's nice. I, 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 I enjoy these kind of little encounters. Like, like you get to see people from. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, "I own this room. I own you." Okay. I'll see what we can do, sir. Oh, it's you. Okay. Well, these mole kind of people are weird. A Batarian training group. Is it, is it insulting for me to call Council. them a the mole? The claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system, and that by limiting the slave trade, the council is violating their cultural rights. Damn. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Whose asshole? Okay, let's let's save and then let's go find the asshole. What asshole are we talking about? Hey. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Um. Okay. Where am I going? Is this a bar? Is yes, this is a bar? Yes. Uh, can I get drunk? Man. Oh, hey, bachelor party. I don't listen to this. I still don't this. see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. <laughs> I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. <laughs> Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. You're staring directly at her ass. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's <laughs> offensive. <laughs> that is offensive, but it's funny. I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... limber. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves her sorry. Yeah, listen to her, man. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. <laughs> okay, that makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. Meant to bend what? This isn't as bad as I'd feared. It's actually... I is it warm in here? <laughs> okay, you see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them, and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. <laughs> Not the point, man! <laughs> I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us! I'm... I I I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait. You don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. I'm going to check out the butt. Yeah, let's check out the butt. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. Ha <laughs> ha that's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. The Turian got a nice view here. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get All right, married. We're good. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. <laughs> I am so then he entertained. Says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Aw. 
Aww. Who are you? I don't know who you are, but I will save. Alright, hey man. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. Okay, fine. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. Be that way. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat, even. Dude. Dude, get a hint. Get a hint. No clue? Still? Come on! Be a man! I wanna punch you. Be a man. Just 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 tell her. Are, are we gonna continue wait, Conrad? Oh that's the that's the guy that 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 our number one fan guy? Right? If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Turian and Corian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... what? Oh yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh here, let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me human, private conversation. Ugh. A little space please. Dude! I'm not done. I'm just standing here, minding my own business. I'm just, I'm just standing here. Just, oh, damn it! You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh huh. <laughs> what was that? You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from. Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. I did so not do alive, that. Huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Dude, I did not shove a gun in your face. What? Oh, I will slap you. Oh my god. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you, crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Dude, I did not I did not shove a gun in your face so f Oh, I am pissed off. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed <laughs> other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The what? galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. When the hell was I a big jerk? I was never a big jerk, you asshole. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Um... Dude. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too. You know, for extra credits. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military. Much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. 
I had to do something. Yeah, but I was never an asshole, still. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, <laughs> Shepard. Uh, I, I like this bartender. <laughs> hey, let's let's talk. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. <laughs> anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Really? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. <laughs> not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Holy crap, your dad's a Krogan. Oh, that's amazing. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, <laughs> commando stuff. She would put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. That's you said your shame. father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Well, what's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Well, thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Uh, no, thanks. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the heads up. D should I talk to you? Do I need to talk to you? Good luck talking to the weapons merchant. Remember, she's at the shop by the carport. Mm, wherever that is. Um. 
There is, okay, this is like the thing where I buy stuff, okay, and then uh, we can go here, 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 all of that. So then he says, oh, it's okay. okay, our amino acids are all different, so it's not like we can get to Excuse me, I'm waiting for something. Alright. So, let's go to one more area before I end, and that's not going to be Liara's office. Maybe I'll do that afterwards. Let's go to the shipping cargo, see if we can finish that. Um, quest with uh, Karmad. I am still pissed off that he. Where's the sorry? I'm still pissed off that he said that I. I shoved a gun in his face. Because I didn't. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home, sir. Oh. Do you? <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to 116,420 credits. Oh, of course, I, uh, I just need to make a call. I should, uh, check the warranty first. Loser. <laughs> Loser. All right. Administration. Ah, let's go to shipping. I think it's shipping, right? Am I going to shipping? Let me check my journal. Assignment. Sorry. Where, 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 where is she? I don't know where is she. I don't. I have no idea where she is. But let's go to the shipping cargo anyway. The council thought that Blasto, the first Anar Spectre, was one has forgotten with uh, routine sync is overcapacity. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Cool. That's proper safe. Yo! Excuse me, I'm on an important call. What's with you guys? Every time I say, excuse me, I'm on an important call. I hate you. So maybe I can pick up that quest some other day. And, uh, guys are just chilling back here. All right, all right. Shipping cargo. No, nothing's interesting here. You, hey. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Oh, my God. Everybody's busy. No one wants to talk to me. What about here? What's in here? Alien News would like to offer a clarification Where of am I? What is this place? Assassin, oh, I'm going all the way down now, huh? Uh, let's not do that. Let's While just let's just end it here today, and then next time we will go and. No offense to the drill community was intended. Should I go and poke? No. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, guys, you know what? I am going to head back to the Ara's office. Right here. I don't know how to get there though, but I'm just gonna stand outside. <laughs> And uh, wait for her there. Back on the stock market, dead piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. Come on. Is she up there? Talk to I think she's up there. So I am going to end it here today, and the next time we are gonna head up and uh, talk to her. Finally, I get to see my Liara. All right, see you guys around. Bye.